Welcome to One and Not, the YouTube channel. Today we have Fendi, Salma, Salma, and me. She hates it. She hates it. Okay, okay, go. So we are doing another episode of This or That. Mm -hmm. We're officially calling it That. Maybe, but yes, that's what we have so far. So this is where we will be debating or trying to reach to a conclusion of a very important travel question. <laughs> So today, we're going to talk about plane seats. Yes, so there are typically two types of plane seats that people would usually choose. Mm -hmm. Window or the aisle. Yeah. And I am team window! Why pick the window seat over the aisle seat? Because clearly, you get the view. So for someone like me, um, who get a bit panicky when they're taking off and landing, getting to be able to see outside, I think calms me down a bit. Isn't it scary? Like, you know you're about to take off and then you're just staring outside like, oh my god. No, at least you know what's happening. And sometimes when you hit turbulence, you look out the window, yes, it's scary, then you see like clouds passing by or you see like it's raining. But at least for me, I'm informed. So, I think it gives me at least a bit of like assurance that, okay, 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 we ain't going down, you know? <laughs> So the window and for the view la, the view like the last time remember our trip to Bali, we looked out the window and we saw like this, these two mountains yeah. which we still haven't gotten an answer yet right? Like someone said it was... Rinjani. Uh, eh, no Bromo. Bromo, yeah. It could because be Bromo. there were a few and it looked similar right? Yeah, yeah. Could be Bromo because I think Bromo is the one that's like tall enough for us to be able to see it um, from the plane. So the view la, the view and especially at night time, Oh my god, you fly up and then you see the what do you what do you call that? Like lightscape, lightscape, cityscape, whatever scape, escape, <laughs> urban scape. You can just call it the view. The, the the view of the lights at night time from above. Okay. Okay. So the view is one. And also for me it's privacy. When I'm on a flight, I really don't want anybody to catch on me. I mean, except for you. But I don't want like the flight attendants to be so near me. I think when, or at least psychologically, when I'm near the window, um, I feel like nobody can catch on me. There's, I'm not interrupted by anything. So that's two. Um, and three is I get some sort of. Okay, I know we talked about the view, but for me, the power to control the window is very important. So it's my call whether I want the shades like up or down. Or like, you want the shades like up a bit or up a lot, you know, so it's my call. It's not like some other person's call. Imagine you're sleeping and, you know, sometimes you hit like really much in the middle of the afternoon. The plane's dark and then some idiot going to open the shutters up and you're like, Wah! blinded by the light. So, I want control over the windows. Well, but the aisle seats, I think... Mostly is about accessibility. You understand? To what? Well, when you first arrive, there's gonna be a crowd of people behind you, in front of you. So you get, you just put your bags in, and you, you can just sit there. And then imagine if someone's already like in the middle seat or already on the aisle, and then you're gonna have to. Go, I'm sorry, I I wanna go in. I'm sorry. That's my seat. Oh okay, and then the person gets up, and then you know right. it's a bit of a hassle, lah. And yeah, yeah. and in the middle of the flight, obviously you want to go to the toilet. Mm -hmm. You just so get up and go. To toilet, yeah, you don't you don't have to be like again like I'm sorry. And that's the one downside of being. I need to go to the, the toilet. Seat. Yeah, and of course another one would be like, let's say you're in a flight, and then you brought a book or your earphones are in your bag that you stored up there. Oh. So like in the middle of the flight, you just like, Oh my god, I left it up there. Thank god I sit on the aisle seat. Yeah, that's and then you just bang on. Or else, you're gonna be like, I'm sorry. Okay, da, da, I get it, I, I get it. I go the, get I get it. my things up there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have pretty long feet, uh, long legs, I think. So when I sit down, I would want more space. So, for example, I will, uh, let's say I'm on an Air Asia flight. They have really, really tight spaces. I do not understand this problem. Yeah. It's five feet. Yeah. So, 
sometimes I can just like put my leg outside a bit. Oh, know. so a bit of macam like, room to stretch yeah, lah. Yeah, so I can just stretch my leg. Uh, it's, it's nice. I okay je. I know at Asia point I stretch je. I still can't reach the floor. <laughs> Serious? You can't reach yeah, the floor? Yeah, like dangles a bit. Elbow room, I get like the whole outside to myself, you know. But I think I think I can I I understand what you're talking about because when we travel, I when we book our seats, I would give you the aisle seat for sure because I understand the leg room thing is very big for him, especially when it's like long distance. And also, not only that, you the elbow room and stuff, like when you want to go to sleep. Okay, instead of like lying down over this side, or if you're at the window, it's a bit susah. But on this side, on at the aisles, like, you got more space yeah. a bit lah. And sometimes I like sitting on the win uh, window seats also mm -hmm. because the view you get is obviously really nice. Really like, nice. Like that one time I went to Japan and and the view outside was like clouds, all like bawah, uh -huh. and up there's just the full moon. Wow. Like it was so nice. Uh -huh. Okay, and lastly, like when when your plane has landed and everyone's just waiting to get off, right? And it's your call whether you want the people inside the move out, you know? Oh, I know. Ah. Being someone who prefers the window seat, it's pretty annoying <laughs> when it's like, dude at the aisle, get up already, meh. Yeah, and then you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna wait till the crowd goes so that I can go up, you know? Kau tidak. Sorry, I'm rushing, so I want to go out. <laughs> This is the question that you guys want answered whether the window seat will win or the aisle seat will win. I don't think we can come to an agreement on who the winner is because it's interchangeable, right? Yeah. And I like I like the window seats also sometimes. Yeah. Okay, fine. So, one thing we can both agree on is that the loser is the middle seat. The guy in the middle. So, <laughs> too bad for you if you didn't go and check in, you didn't want to pay extra yeah. for mid, for good seats, then you're sitting in the middle, dude. Like, yeah. you don't get the window, you don't get the view, you don't even get what? Um, space, you don't get yeah. accessibility. And every time, no matter what you do, you're going to have to do... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I have to go take my bag, I have to go to the toilet. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, this is just us having a little discussion for fun on whether we like window or aisle seat. But we also want to know, maybe there are some quirks that you would have on why you prefer a window or aisle seat. Or if you're one of the weird ones, no, no, special ones that actually like the middle seat. Yeah, like the middle row. Wow. Maybe there are people out there who like the middle seats. Respect. Please tell us why. The world cannot go around without you guys. Yes. But I always sit in the middle seat because I want to sit next to you. Oh. Oh. Alright, so I guess that's it from us. Till the next time we see you in another video. Bye bye. Safe travels. <laughs>